Hello and welcome to the DDoE Prox V3 tutorial. I will be taking through how to set up the readers, doors, webhooks and the cards all in one video. So let's get started. The first thing that you'll want to do before you do anything is publish the game by going into file and publish to Roblox. Then once you've done that, go into your game settings security and allow HTTP requests and click save and that is that done. If you don't do that then the doors will not work. So then ungroup the folder called control U okay and then move the cards in the cards folder down into starter pack or serve storage for wherever you want them to go. Okay, and we'll look at the cards later. Then you can delete all the doors that you don't want to use. All the doors have the same functionality, but they just look different. So I will keep the office door double, and you can delete all the missed cards, that's the rules. Okay, so first we're going to look at the door settings. So go in door model and then click settings and here we have one setting and it's just if you want the door to be motorized or you want it to be physics based. So by default it's set by motor and that's just going to open and close by itself but if you have it on physics what you have to do is actually push open the door yourself and on the other side you have to actually press the press to exit button and click the handle to open the door. That's all that is, I am going to keep it on motor. And that's all the door settings done, so that is the same for every single door in the pack. Okay, now we're going to learn how to change what readers we want to use with our doors. So, now you go into the DDoE Prox model, outside the door model, open that. And now go into the reader folder. Okay, and now choose a reader. So I'm going to go with the DDoE Prox P325 and then duplicate it. And then you want to put it in a DDoE Prox folder in the door and in there in readers. So I'll drag it down into there. And I can get rid of the old one. You can have as many readers as you want um, in the door. And then we can move the reader across and down. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to configure the general settings for the readers and the buttons. So if you open up the settings here, now we have a bunch of settings that we can configure here. So the first one is the open time, and this is quite simply how long you want the door to stay open for. So I'm going to set it to six seconds. Okay, next up, we have what you want the door to do when the card is scanned or accepted, what you want it to do if the card is denied, or what you want it to do after the open time. So basically, you can code in whatever you want the game to do, or whatever you want something to do when the card is scanned. Okay, so below this is the webhook settings. Basically, what the webhook does is that it sends a message to a selected channel in your Discord server, which basically logs the correct scans, the incorrect scans, and the button presses to your Discord server. So we'll learn how to set that up later, but here you can just set what you want it to log. So I'm going to set all of these to true. And below that we have a game logo that will appear on the webhook. You need a decal ID for this. And you can also set the door name which will appear on the webhook. Let's set it to testing. testing. Okay, below that we have what people you want to be able to open the door if the whitelist is set to true. So what that means is that if the whitelist setting is set to true in the reader settings or button settings, that even people with the right level access card will still not be able to open the door if their name or ID isn't on the 
let's tear it. So to find this number, you want to go on to their profile page on Roblox. Okay, so on the profile, you want to go to the URL. Then you want to copy the number after users and before profile. And then when you're back in Roblox, you just paste that in there. And don't forget the commas. The commas are very important. Okay, then the similar deal is with the groups. Okay, and then when you're on your selected group, again in the URL, it's the number here after groups. So copy that. And then back in Roblox, you just want to put a open bracket, quote marks, paste it in there. And then for the group ranks that you want accepted, do equals open curly bracket and then back on the group page click the three dots and press configure group then go to roles and then go to the a role that you want to get the idea of okay so that's 254 now we'll go back to roblox and once you're in you just type in 254 and there you go it's now done if you want to add more than one and do comma space two five three etc etc so that's all the general settings done for the readers and the buttons so now we are going to go into discord so we can create a webhook that will log the correct and incorrect scans sent from d.uprox okay so in your server of choice you want to go into the channel settings that you want the webhook to be in and then also go into interrogations and then you want to create a webhook okay let's call it dwfox and you can always change the avatar of it if you want now copy webhook url save changes and back in roblox you need to go to the webhook url script under the settings script and then paste the URL in the speech box. Like that. Now we can go into the reader's individual settings by going into the reader's folder, the reader, and then under the reader we have reader settings. And here we have two settings. This is what cards you want accepted. Let's say we only want to level access to card accepted. And then this is what I talked about earlier, the whitelist settings, and we set it to false, but you can set it to true if you want. And that's all of the reader settings. And now let's go to the buttons. So setting up the buttons is sort of like the readers. So we have four buttons, we have the two press to exit buttons. We have the hold button, which just holds the door open. And then we have the door hold which you basically change by using a card in game which makes the door normal and hold you can actually configure what cards you want to be able to do this but we'll look at that in a bit so let's get the door hold button into the door so in the doodoy box model go into buttons um, hold the key switch duplicate it and then move from the buttons folder in the dodo box model in the door model and there aren't actually any settings for the key hold but you will have to do something with the card in a bit okay so now let's look at the cards each card has the same sort of attributes to it so we have the access level um so obviously you reset the reader to two so we're just going to set that to two and then this hks1 is what you need for the card to be able to change the door hold so if you get rid of it then it won't be able to change the door hold um, so what I'm going to do just to um, show you is duplicate it and call this one can, can't and get rid of hsk1 in there um, I will also just move the hold. And I'm going to show you a um, demonstration right now. 
okay, so here we are. Quickly scan the card. It will open. And after six seconds, it will then close. If you use the press the exit button to open it. And then it will close. Okay, so then if I use the card that can change the settings, it will then hold, it will change it back to normal, to close. Then if I use the card that doesn't have the HKS one, it will not work. So that is that all set up. There's also a few other things that you can do. For example, you can actually create your own readers by using the API documentation. And you can actually look in the example reader um, by going into readers, custom reader example. And you can see what they did here to try and create your own. And of course, with the cards, you can create an item giving script um, that gives certain things, certain cards. So it doesn't actually matter where you put these cards as long as they have these things. That is about all there is to the um, Dodo B3. I hope you found this useful. All the links that you need will be in the description. So that's including the Discord server, the uh, model, and the group. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.